On behalf of all assembled here today, I should now like to invite our newest alumna, Dr. Tiobello Neo Kong, to address convocation. Um, thank you very much. I wish to thank the university for bestowing me on this honor. I must say I was a little bit shocked to get a phone call from the president. So I don't think I made sense at all when I was talking to him because uh, it was too much of an honor. And this is a great honor for me also because I never really graduated my PhD. As a mother, I had other things to do. So you have just given an opportunity now to graduate, thank you. So we can make these two graduations in one. Today also, it's really about the young people. You know, I can call all of you young. I left here 32 years ago. Many of you were not born. So you are all young people. It's about you. It's about the celebration of years of hard work, dedication, and perseverance. Congratulations to all of you. Today is also about the parents. We forget how much parents support their you know, children in this endeavor. It is without the families, without the communities, you may not be where you are. May I thank all the parents for all they have done for you. You have received the best education from a world-class university. I should know I am a graduate of the University of Western Ontario. I am a good example. You are well suited to be, become global leaders with the education you received. I'm serious about it. I can tell you, uh, Western gave me a holistic approach to education. I was able to interact with different cultures. Um, it challenged me to be prepared for the future. Here are some of the, a few examples of what it did for me. It gave me an opportunity to be independent and creative. I was not a young student, so I was clear about what I wanted. I wanted to be able to think on my own. I knew I was going back to the African continent. I need to be able to build that continent without being told what to do. And that's what Western did to me. It, it made me, gave me the opportunity to tackle technical issues and that faces many parts of the world. And I really enjoyed interacting with a huge, different community of students, which also you know, uh, encouraged me a lot. I need also to, I've always stressed this to my supervisor, uh, Dr. Stillman, that it gave me hands-on. I needed hands-on in any part of what I do. And he was very generous today. He didn't tell you about what I broke. <laughs> There were a few, few, this hands-on comes with dangers. But thank you, I have been able to, um, <laughs> to, 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 to learn from there what not to do. Um, as, uh, Western also gave me, as a science student, believe it or not, a chance to be involved in politics. I know as science students, we, we stay away from them. I didn't. I remember my supervisor looking at me and saying, you know, you are too political for your own good. Politicians need us to tell them what to do on their own. Uh -huh -huh. <laughs> um, I'm sure you have the same experiences. And I want to talk about success. What, what does it mean for you to be successful? Um, it, it, the ability to help others and to support one another emotionally is very important. The ability to be, success means being humble, never forgetting where you came from. That is success. Success is being proud of wh who you are and not looking down on others as you climb the ladder. It's not about how much money you make. I actually know we need money, but I actually hate money. Um, I think we should look for our passion and let money follow. Money will follow if you are passionate about what you do. Don't look for money. Uh, that's my... And m most of you are going to earn very huge salaries. Do not forget to give to Western. <laughs> Thanks to Kim, now I know why we are no longer... Well, we still are, University of Western Ontario. So I was fighting with myself, but I'm accepting Western. I understand the reason why. But please give. I should also give. <laughs> I also need to say that I can stand here and say this is all about me. No, it's not. I received this doctorate on behalf of all my students, past and present. One of them is here, Azole, who is an ex exchange from South Africa to to Canada, and I have a Canadian student there. So as you embark as honor students, think about going further with your studies because it's very important to be global, to be global citizens that don't just concentrate on one country. 
the opportunities are there now to go broader and broader. So Canadian students can visit Africa, Africa can visit here. It's no longer one way. And as a mother, I received this award on behalf of my children, and they are with me today. The balance of bringing up children and being academic, it can be a difficult one, but it can be done. And that is why I chose Western, actually. The reason I chose Western was the facilities that allowed me to be a mother at the same time study. Um, my children were a support system, and I also wish to honor my grandchildren who are not here today. Uh, there are a lot of interesting things. I just want to give you one example of interesting things that happen when you are a student and a, a mother at Western. Don't tell the police this, but... <laughs> <laughs> one day, I was going to the lab at 4 a.m. As a mother, you multitask. It was 4 a.m. There is a traffic cop sitting in a donut shop. I, uh, since then, I don't look at donut shops very well. Um, he got out, and the only ticket I ever got, guess what it said? You are a danger to yourself. I've never heard of a, a traffic ticket that says that. I was danger because my car was so rusted, my feet were dangling. Um, so the police was right and gave me a certain number of months to fix the car. I would like all the young people here to kind of figure out what do you think actually happened finally. We don't know about that. But uh, I've never looked at uh, a donut shop the same way again. <laughs> and to all the female students, it can be done. We can multitask because as women, we can do more than one thing at a time. Sorry, guys, but <laughs> we, we are a little bit better than you. <laughs> I used to also really thank South Africa for believing in the importance of research. Not many developing countries do that. I call South Africa a country of balance. We try to balance the poor. You can't just concentrate on poverty, on building, on hunger without developing the, the brain because then you'll have brain brain. People will leave your country. But, but in South Africa, we do have brain gain because we have the facilities to do top class research. You're all welcome to visit me. Don't come at the same time, but you're welcome <laughs> to visit me. I also wish to thank Rhodes University for giving me the space. I'm not a very easy person to deal with, but for supporting me. And the director of research, um, Ms. Jane Roberts, is here. Also, I wish to thank Rhodes University for that support. I thank my friends who are here also, who have been at, at the last time I left here as a student was 32 years ago, uh, but I still have friends. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't want to talk for long, because the more you talk, the more people forget what you said at the beginning. I want you to remember what I've said here, particularly about money, uh, as long as possible. I wish all the graduates the best as they become leaders of the world. You come from a university where you will be leaders. Lead with integrity, reliability, honesty. Those are all the attributes of a good leader. I'm sure many of you would like to walk through this stage. I don't know how it does. You would like me to get out of here. I hope you are wearing sensible shoes so you don't fall off. But I wish you and the parents the best and go on and be global leaders. You've got the best education ever there was. Thank you very much. <laughs>